we're going to show a little test of three different LED light bars that you can get on Amazon. First one is the 120 watt combo. It's the big light bar. I'll post a link to what it is. And then two just for comparison. This one's a four pack. It says Turbo SII LED work light. Also says off-road driving lamps. And they're the smaller rectangular shape. And then this one that says Nylite on it. So it's the same brand as the bigger bar. It's a round one. To power the light so that everything's fair, we're just using a 12 volt, 8 amp hour portable battery. The kind of battery you might find in a scooter or electric wheelchair, that sort of thing. UPS backup. Uh, I keep these batteries around because I like to have battery backup for all my electronics. All right, first up is going to be our round Nylite. As you can see it's very bright and it's more of a spotlight. This, this would be an ideal replacement if you had it in a spotlight that you could move. But as you can see even as a stationary light it's very bright so this would definitely make a great uh, driving light, off-road light. Next up is the Turbo SII rectangular bulb. And again, you can see it's pretty good spotlight. Probably would also work good for a off-road or a fog light, driving light. I can tell you that both of these are very blinding when you look at them so I would imagine if you're driving with oncoming traffic you're going to get a lot of people flashing their high beams at you. Last but not least we're going to do the big light bar. This one claims to be both spot and flood lighting so I expect this one to give us the best disbursement of light. And as you can see, it's lighting up a much broader area, having both spot and flood lighting on the actual unit. It, it disperses a very wide area, but also spots where you need it, so it's, it's bright. Alright, so in the end, I think there was a pretty obvious winner here, although I doubt anybody was surprised. I'm going to say the big light was definitely the best one. If you have the room on your vehicle to put it on there and price is no object to you, obviously that unit was just amazing as far as the light output. I think you see a lot of those uh, on the newer police cars, the Tahoes and so forth. Uh, because obviously they're doing a, a really good job. If you don't have the room for that big light bar, which not every vehicle is going to be able to accommodate that, I'm going to say my second choice is going to be the Nylite round one. Uh, that certainly gave a really good disbursement of light. It seemed like that would work well for a driving light or a fog light or off-road light on a vehicle but honestly there wasn't that much difference and I was kinda of surprised but the Turbo SII was certainly right up there so it's almost a virtual tie so in the end I'm gonna say if you've got the space on your vehicle obviously the long light bar is the way to go if you don't pick which one of these you think looks the best for your vehicle Keep in mind, pricing-wise, this one, there's four of them in the box. I think you can also buy them individually and, and as two. Um, but I bought the four, so it gives you a lot more options. So there you have it. Lights tested out. All of them are available on Amazon, all of them very affordably. 
and uh, I'll show you how easy these things are to install in another video but basically you can wire them up to a switch you can wire them through a relay you can wire them to come on with your high beams or only with your low beams you can wire them through the relay with a separate switch to override if they're coming on with the lights or high beams There's lots of different ways you can do it 